the most effective way to prevent coronavirus. These sort of individuals should be arrested. What you are saying is a lie. When they worry, they look for all sorts of cures. This will cost lives. Recently, there's been a lot of misinformation about coronavirus and its prevention being shared, and I want to know where it's coming from. And today, I'm going to share you something very important, very imperative information, which can save us all from the infection of coronavirus. The practice is very simple. You need to inhale plain steam, plain water steam. The only miracle of steam inhalation by your nostrils and exhale from the mouth. It is the most efficient tool, the most effective way to prevent ourselves from coronavirus. I get messages like this all the time and sometimes my mum forwards them to me. Hi, Mama. Hi, Sima. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. This video you've sent me, Mum, where's it come from? Somebody called Chetna been sent me, you know, this video. I mean, you don't believe it, do you? No, I don't believe it. How many people do you think have seen this video? So many, I think so many people. Mm. That was my mum's friend. She sent the video to my mum. She doesn't want to be identified, so we couldn't get her on camera. But I wanted to find out where she got the video from, and she says that it was sent to her on a WhatsApp group that she's on, which has around 200 other people on it. From speaking to lots of people in different communities, I discovered the video had been shared many times on WhatsApp. People in Basingstoke, Birmingham, Bradford and Peterborough have seen the video and shared it with others. Hey. Hey, how are you? Family members are suggesting that this is the way to get rid of it. People are worried. When they're worried, they look for all sorts of cures. Twelve people told us they'd even tried inhaling steam. Get yourself a bowl of water and put a towel over your head. Tell me about your ritual, because you inhale steam regularly, don't you? Well, since the COVID, I fell ill and I tried it out. A lot of people said to me to try it out and I wasn't affected that bad as many other people had been. So clearly it's worked. And obviously we believe also it should go alongside modern medicine. Doctors across the world are saying that inhaling steam is not a preventative measure. Like I say, I tried it and it's worked. So I can only work with what I've used. At the end of the day, if it's life and death, you have to do what you need to do. Whatever people want to take, that's their personal opinion. Steam inhalation isn't new and many clinicians recommend it to manage colds and coughs. But I wanted to find out what doctors thought of this video and its advice on using steam to prevent COVID. Wow. That's uh, something special altogether. It's just uh, infuriating. Um, it's actually really made me angry. These sort of individuals should be arrested for, for uh, spreading uh, false news, giving false hope. The particle of the droplets which spread the virus from an infected individual to others quickly reach the bottom of our lung. The, the method that is described in this seems to have steam inhalation going into the nose and coming out of the mouth. In my opinion, I would have no time for such studies at all. I don't think this is of proven value. This will cost lives. As soon as social media platforms get hold of any of these messages, they should be taken off. WhatsApp says it's made a number of changes to slow the spread of fake news, while Facebook told us it's taken the post down after we alerted them to it. But a simple search shows the internet is flooded with similar videos claiming to prevent COVID. The man in the video sent to me is Nilesh Joggle. On his website, it says he's a chemical engineer. His videos have been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. He has a clinic in the state of Gujarat in India, where he offers alternative holistic medicine. I managed to get hold of him to ask why he's spreading false messages about steam inhalation. So far, we have a team of only 20 to 25 people, including doctors and ourselves. None of our person, including us or even doctors, have infected with coronavirus so far. The groups who have started this practice, they have also been safeguarded from coronavirus. But that's not true. Doctors here are saying that what you are saying is a lie and that you're putting I people's saying, lives fine, at risk. Fine, fine, fine. See, man, what doctors are saying and what uh, other research might be saying, I am not very aware of. 
what my experience is and what i am sharing and what i still do is this thing we have done only one thing to prevent ourselves from coronavirus that is steam inhalation and with that steam inhalation we have not corona caught any infection so far and we understand that this is only and only because of one practice which we have introduced steam inhalation however well meaning he thinks he's being doctors say he's actually causing more harm than good it's important to get the truth out to different generations. Hi, Mum. Hi, Sima. How are you doing? Oh, well, fine, thank you. Have you had any more videos today? Yes, I had yesterday one and mm. this morning, same video like that, you know. Okay. But I, I don't believe it. No. I believe it, you know? Well, make sure you don't WhatsApp it to other people. Okay, definitely. I'm not going to send it to anyone. Okay. Miss you loads, Mum. I miss you too, my darling. Okay, well, love you lots, and I'll love speak to you, you soon. Bye. 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 bye.